how Prophet Muhammad came with is a perfect way of life. He couldn't read and write, but we have these politicians who studied in the best universities around the world. They cannot resolve the problems we are facing. Because Prophet Muhammad, the legislation that he came with, والسلام, the legislation of Islam came from the Almighty. That's why it's perfect for us. That's why even you agree with it. Because it makes sense. You understand? You go. That's what I'm saying. So how man couldn't read and write? He never went to universities. He's coming with this perfect way of life. That strengthen our belief, there is a creator. You know? You know, Islam came with five things. And these five things, if we preserve them, we will have a good society, healthy society. First one, Islam came to preserve religion. What does that mean? It means in Islam, if you start worshiping a false god, that including our desires, then we'll have corruption. And I will demonstrate to you that. But when you worship the true God, Islam tells you to protect your intellect. That's why in Islam, alcohol and drugs is forbidden. Thirdly, Islam came to preserve wealth. That's why in Islam, interest and gambling is forbidden. Fourthly, Islam came to preserve marriage and families. That's why adultery and fornication is forbidden. Lastly, Islam came to preserve life. That's why, that's why harming yourself, killing yourself, killing innocent people, committing suicide is forbidden. These five things that Islam came to preserve, if we preserve them, we will have a good society. Alcohol destroy us individually and collectively. You agree? Gambling, likewise. Gamble yes. And what he does to you, literally I know stories, not one, not ten, over 50 stories. When you hear people, they start becoming addicted to gambling, they go steal from their children, they steal, they steal PlayStation 2 to go sell it, or PlayStation 5, I'm, I'm back, you know, steal PlayStation 2, PlayStation 5, and sell it just to gamble. So ga gambling, you make likewise. What they call it, interest. Interest is, is new slavery. Interest makes the rich richer, poor poorer. Likewise, fornication, adultery destroys societies. You have, you have children, that, they don't know their parents and so on. And that grew up, parents, children generally speaking, who they don't know their parents and so on, they grew up mentally not well. Generally speaking, I'm not saying everyone, yes? There's exception, no doubt. So Islam, when it came to preserve these five things, put a barriers. However, there is some people benefit from this, the, uh, these vices. Who are they? The people in power. They do benefit from gambling, interest, even though they know it's bad for us. So what they do, they, because they're rich, they're making money from the suffering of the people, they use their wealth to make Islam look bad, even though Islam is good for us individually and collectively. And the question we ask ourselves, how man that existed, Prophet Muhammad, who came with Islam, how man that existed 1,400 years ago, was able to come with a perfect way of life? The five necessities about protecting our intellect, health and wealth and so on, you know, about worshiping the true God. And now, also I was going to mention to you, because we're talking about the government and power, uh, those who are in power, when Islam comes to preserve these five things, he brought up barriers. In one that break down those, bar the, those barriers, there's a punishment. Because we human beings, we don't think ahead. We always want something quick, even though it's bad for us. But the creator of everything, he knows what is good for us in details, what is bad for us in details. So when you look at Islamic legislation and you compare it to human legislation, Islamic legislation, the example I give is like when you go to a doctor. You with me? You go to a doctor and you say, I have a pain. What doctor give you? Painkillers. What painkillers do doesn't not treat the root of the problem. Painkillers just manage the symptoms and cover up the pain. But Islamic legislation, you okay? Yeah? All right. All right. Islamic legislation deal with the problem from the roots. That's why in Islam we have something called what evil leads to evil. You have to stop it. No say, yeah, I know it leads to evil, but keep doing it. Like a drink, little alcohol is okay. No, it's going to lead to greater evil.